Hello, cookbook friends, and welcome to the Cookbook Divas YouTube channel. My name is Katie, and today I am very much looking forward to New Native Kitchen. This is by Chef Freddie Bitsui. He's a proud Navajo. He's also an award-winning chef. He is also the former executive chef of Mitsutam Native Foods Cafe. This is actually located in Washington, D.C., uh, in the uh, in the Smithsonian National Museum of the American Indian. So this is really, really cool stuff. This is something that I was very much looking forward to when it first came out. And I'm just thrilled to show it to you guys today. So let's get going. I love the art on the cover. It is really beautiful and bright. So let's look at... Ooh, more beautiful and bright. Let's look at it. So here we have all the chapters. We have soups, then we go into salads and vinaigrettes. Next is vegetables and starches. Then we have land and sea. And I really like that we have kind of sub chapters. So we've got beef, bison, chicken, duck, lamb, pork, and we also have rabbit and fish and shellfish. We also have in chapter five, puddings and sweets. And that's it. There we go. So you'll see here, um, we've got everything, all the recipes you'll find listed out for you with the page numbers. I am trying to find, so you might be able to see this. There's some of these recipes have, they're color co coded. So we've got a bright pink and then we also have a red and then black. So I'm wondering if maybe I missed something here. Oh, it looks like it's the name of some of the tribes where this particular dish might have come from or special techniques you might need to do. So for instance, we have grilled cactus paddles and then a pink, there's a pink indicator that says cleaning the ca cactus paddles. But then we also have here three sisters bean stew and then below that in red, it's from the Hopi people. So that's really, really cool. I love that. I love that he's giving the he's giving homage to the places that require that deserve it. So we have Native American pantry. This must be really extensive since America has all kinds of landscapes and different foods available in each place. So covering, you know, basically the whole country would probably be really difficult with food. So we've got all kinds of different foods here. Beautiful photography. Um, and then let's move on to the actual chapters, but I want to show you guys the corn because I love this setup. It's beautiful. I've always wanted to eat very colorful corn and I've never been able to find it. So I, that might be a goal of mine for next year. So let's move on. We've got a acorn squash and temp, te bean. I've not heard of that before. We have at the very top here. A little blurb of where it's from, uh, which is very helpful for this particular kind of cookbook. Uh, an explanation of it, what it tastes like, the different flavors. We have here the serving size. And then basically we have the ingredients listed on the side and the instructions on the right hand side. So pretty typical. We have Aztec bean roasted green chili. Ooh. I love how deep, dark, purpley green this is. Very cool. This is interesting. This is an onion, celery root, and parsnip soup. It's got this beautiful light pink hue to it. It looks really fantastic. Um, I'm really excited to try this one out. I've never had parsnips with, I, I've hardly actually had, had them in general, but this is very easy to make. We have red potato, sweet summer corn broth. Yum. Beautiful. So it looks like two. So when I was mentioning the side pages, so the ones in red, we have basically a, a larger scope of these different tribes and, you know, where they come from, maybe the foods, the different cultural activities they might have done or they still do to this day. And most of them are kind of more well-known. So we've got Cherokee, Apache, Navajo, et cetera, all of that. 
Um, and I just love that. I think this is really informative and just beautiful. I'm glad that he's done this and created this amazing cookbook for us to look through. So we also have more amazing recipes. Let's move on to salads. I'm kind of curious. This might be, yes. Okay, so amaranth with white wine vinaigrette. So this is the vinaigrettes and salads chapter. This looks really interesting. Let's see. Ooh, again, beautiful photography. There's even notes on the very bottom here. It'll, sh it'll tell you exactly what recipes they are, which is very nice. We have the Dungeness crab and apple salad. Ooh, yum. This looks good. A Manuman rice fritter salad with blueberry vinaigrette. Beautiful. Let's move on a little further. Ooh, blue, blue cornmeal. I want to know where I could buy blue cornmeal. That would be amazing. That'd make eating cornmeal way more fun for me. We have grilled cactus paddles, and then we have the actual cleaning of the cactus paddles, so everything that was in the table of contents that's under the pink uh, indicator. There's a Manuman rice cake. I need to figure out what Manuman rice is because I've never heard of it before and I'm, you know, it looks really good. Okay, I'll move on. Sorry, I'm going to get really lost if I, I could do this on my own. We have sauteed fiddleheads with apple. And I, I, if you've ever listened to our podcast, I've never had a fiddlehead in my life and Carrie loves them. So it's still on my list of things to try. They don't, you know, they don't even look real to me. They look like fantasy vegetables and they're beautiful. So I'm kind of excited. Blanching fiddlehead fern. So this is something I need since I don't know how to do it. Again, look at those. They're crazy cool. So we've got stewed beans with thyme, sage, and tomato. Let's look at some other ones. Maybe some main dishes. Bison burgers with caramelized sweet onions. This looks good. Braised chicken with sage and choke berry sauce. Oh, choke cherry sauce. Green chili chicken pozole. Yum. And I'm sure you can notice that a lot of these different dishes, I mean, you can see that it spans all over, all over the United States. You've got Southwestern recipes. You've got very clearly Eastern recipes and West. It's very cool. Um, Midwest, South, Pacific Northwest, all kinds of cool stuff. We have Sagauro, oh, Sagauro seed crusted chicken thighs. See, a lot of these, I'm, you know, I live in America and I've never heard of some of these ingredients before and I'm kind of ashamed. So I clearly need to research and experiment more with foods that we can actually find right here in the United States. So that's really interesting. Ooh, this is cool. There's like Chef Freddy Bitsoe's celebrate celebratory feast and you have everything he would ha like he would serve all listed out right here plus a beautiful table setting. This looks really cool. So if you ever want to do a fun awesome feast, you can check out what he does. We have whole duck with juniper berries. Yum. Let's move on to some of the desserts. Ooh, actually, before I do that. So he has a grilled rabbit with prickly pear barbecue sauce, which does sound amazing. But if you've never worked with rabbit before, you actually can learn how to do that with this cookbook. So very cool. Alas Alaskan king salmon with crusted pecans. This is kind of a classic and very tasty. All right, let's go to desserts because... I'll be here forever. I'm gonna have to look at this on my own time because I'll bore you guys by just kind of gawking at it. We've got chia seed smoothie, yum. Obviously that's something they probably never had back in the day. We've got chocolate, chocolate and pinon nut cake. This looks really good. It almost looks like a brownie and berries. This looks really good. It's got brandy in it, yum. Ooh, this is a beautiful, beautiful chapter. I love desserts. We've got toasted blue co cornmeal with mixed berries and agave. This looks really elegant, but it's very simple to make. And yeah, it'd probably be very filling. 
We even have, oh God, I love this. So he even has provided, you can get further reading on different, on Native American heritages. You can learn more about indigenous foods. Here's websites, here's books. Uh, you can learn about the history. There's so many things that you can do with this book if you are very curious about Native American history and culture. This is so cool. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to have to look on at this on my own time because it, it's, it's quite big. It's a good cookbook, good sized cookbook. So I highly recommend checking out New Native Kitchen. This is by Chef Freddie Bitsui. And James O. Fraioli, I believe, is a James Beard winning award author, too. So definitely check this out. If you guys want more cookbook content, come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest. And we do a blog at uh, cookbookdivas.com. We also do a podcast. So come check us out there at Cookbook Divas. Make sure to subscribe and like down below because it really helps us out if you like our cookbook videos. Also, if there's cookbooks that you want us to check out and you want to look through, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a fantastic day.